The repair tool lets us remove unwanted objects or blemishes by either painting over them or making a selection and then repairing that selection. I'm actually going to start out in the Photos app to show how not all repair or retouch tools are created equal. In the Mac Photos app, the Retouch tool is meant to do the same thing as the Repair tool in Pixelmator Pro, but it doesn't quite measure up when removing certain objects. In this image, I want to remove these branches. I'll start up here with the thinner one, so I'll select the Retouch tool, and then paint over what I want to remove. The result is not very good. The area where the branch was just kind of gets smudged. The Retouch tool here in Photos is much better for removing small blemishes, but not larger objects. So now let's jump back into Pixelmator Pro. Before we get started, I'm going to create a new blank layer called Repair Layer, and make sure the Sample All Layers box is checked down here. With this on, I can keep the repair work on this new blank layer, while still working from the background layer that contains the original image. With the repair tool selected, I'm just going to paint over the branch just as I did in Photos. Pixelmator Pro does a much better job. Zoom out and it's really impossible to tell the branch was ever there. Hide and show the new repair layer to view the before and after. Now let's use the free selection tool to make a selection around this bunch of sticks here. Once I have that selected, I'll go back to the repair tool, but this time just click the repair selection button and those sticks get removed. We can do the same things for the branches at the bottom of the image. The nice thing about this is you don't need to make a detailed selection, just a fairly loose selection around the object will do. Click Repair Selection again and the branch is gone. I could then take care of some minor details with the Repair Brush again. And after that, hide and show the Repair layer to view the changes. Next up, we'll look at how to use the Clone Tool.